half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. That's the way the money goes, pop goes the weasel. When I was a youngster, making go-karts was just the in thing, really. We would dare each other to see which one dare go furthest up the hill. And obviously the one that went up the furthest then was the bravest. No money attached to it or prizes. But the further we went up the hill, the more speed you got. So if a car came out of the side road, you were really in trouble. When I got my bike, I didn't want my dad to take the stabilisers off. So we went to the park with them on. My dad took them off just to have a go and I said, oh, I'll put them back on. When we got home, he said he'd left them at the park, and now I know that he lied and he <laughs> took them off and put them in the garage and didn't tell me. We lived five miles away. Five of us, we were all issued with a cycle, cape and leggings. Well, I think that came as a package deal because the wet weather. I used to go, like, to the pier, and I used to play, like, all the games on their arcade, like the two Ps and the other games, which I sort of... I used to kind of be somewhat addicted to when I was younger. And then sometimes on the beach you play, you know, in the sand or skim stones or go on like the uh, big rides. I do like walking kind of down the beach with my mates. It's always quite fun when it's nice and kind of hot. But then the uh, breeze from the sea kind of cools you down a bit. I used to like dig holes in the sand and kind of like make a trench so the water would go back down. Like, that was fun. I used to like going crabbing. I used to get quite a lot. We used to get stones from the beach, pick the right size stones, all the stones, and then that's how we used to play, five stones. We used to sit in the curb and play, yes. <laughs> we called them gobs, little coloured bricks. Uh, small, very small. Well, the boys usually had them in their pockets. We just used to say, are we going to have a game of gobs? <laughs> that's all, it was just a little game, wasn't it? To fill in a few minutes, that's all. And if we were all out there at the same time, grab a rope. It wasn't a skipping rope, it was a rope. <laughs> when we were young, we had great fun with a game called Fortune Teller. It was paper. You used to use the different colours on the flaps and people would pick the colour and then you spell it out. I think probably orange was my worst one. I could never remember how to spell it. And I was quite, I was quite glad when nobody chose it, actually. <laughs> we had things like dare you to hug a person to your left. Here was a board game called Tri-Tactics. I played it so often that I actually worked out a pretty unbeatable strategy and so no one would play with me anymore, which was a big disappointment. The park was about a mile away and in the middle of it was an enclosed area with sort of doors. I thought it was a secret garden. The little lane leading up to our house and it had a long ditch along one side full of an abundant growth of Alexanders in spring and we used to play in that and hide among the stalks and jump out at people as they passed by. It was great fun. I'm sure everyone knew we were there, but we enjoyed it none the same. If you went down the lane, you'd come out to the park and take the football with us. The flies were always going into my mouth. In the end, it was like a competition to who could hold their breath the longest so the flies didn't go into their mouth. One year, we built a snowman at my granddad's and my dog weed on it and ate the carrot. Yeah, that was funny, and my sister then jumped on top of it and knocked it over. I think my favourite book was Millie Molly Mandy. I just loved those stories. The special story, I think, was when the teacher came to stay, and Millie Molly Mandy was quite frightened of the teacher, but she showed her how to make Rosa paper dollies, and I think she thought she was all right after that. <laughs> I used to count my teddies before bed, and if one was missing, I wouldn't go to sleep. I'm sure I had one when I was very small, but in my time, all self-respecting boys would throw them away when they reached 11 at the latest. I never had a teddy bear till I married a Ted. <laughs> my mother told me that if I, I was pretty, oh, yes. that she would buy me a rubber dolly. Oh, my auntie that. told <laughs> her I kissed a soldier. <laughs> now she will buy me a rubber dolly. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. <laughs> Cinderella, dressed in yellow, went to the ball and kissed a fella. How many kisses did she get? Seven. One. 
Spider crawling up your back, which finger was that? <laughs> that one. Yeah. <laughs> well done. F R I E N D S. Do you really need them? Yes. Sharing the brilliant ties we've had throughout the years. Good ties together. It's not the same when you're not there. 